You know, we've talked a lot on this program about the sacrifices and struggles of health care workers. Well, one nurse found a unique way to celebrate her fellow frontline workers. Amanda Dominguez works at Baylor Scott and White Medical Center in College Station, Texas. She is also a very talented artist. Look at this, who is painting some incredible portraits. And Amanda is with us this morning. Amanda, thank you for talking with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, well, Amanda, I understand you had this idea after you watched like, 38 hours of Marvel <laughs> movies with your son. So how did how did that inspire these paintings? Um, so I we we began the 38 hour journey. And so um, it, it just kind of, you know, and at that time, everybody was telling healthcare workers are, are heroes. And, and what better way to show how mm. heroic these are by wearing masks, just like the heroes in those comic movies wear masks. That's a beautiful concept. We're looking at all of those portraits behind you. I know you've completed over 100 so far. Is there one portrait in particular that has impacted you the most? Yes, um, there's a portrait of um, a palliative care nurse that I work with, um, Dr. Beth Grace. And with hers, um, she's dealing with patients and family members during some of their hardest times um, who are, are, are battling COVID um, alone. And so she's really stepped up and tried to make each one of her patients feel like a, a family member caring for them, that the nurses in our hospital have really just stepped up trying to make sure that, you know, as they're going through some of the hardest times of their lives, and some people going through the joyous times of their lives that they are surrounded by good people when their family members aren't able to visit in the hospital. So she has a very tough job, and, and I'm grateful to have her. How, how do you pick, Amanda, out the people you're going to paint? Are they folks you know or some random folks? So it started off with painting my friends, and then... Um, it just kind of spread out. And, and so I've had people from all over the nation that, that just send me their picture. And all I ask for is for them to share me their story, mm -hmm. their experience with COVID um, on the front lines. And I've gotten some very inspirational, very powerful, very hopeful messages from these nurses who are out fighting. So it's a privilege to honor these, these uh, other nurses that, all over the nation. We're looking at some of these portraits. They're absolutely phenomenal. And this is all free. In fact, it's a gift from you to frontline workers, as you mentioned. What do you hope your paintings do for them and for all of the people who have a chance to see them? I want everybody to know that they are essential, um, that, that, that we, we are out there fighting the good fight, um, that that just to be inspired, art inspires more art. I want other people to pick up this, 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 this task of reaching out to their fellow healthcare workers um, and sharing that. Wow, well, Amanda, those are beautiful works of art. I know that they are inspiring people who receive them. Thank you for doing what you're doing. We appreciate it.